One other area that's really important here with um, just basic user security is group-based permissions. Um, this one should be obvious. I think anyone who's in a medium or large size organization will, will have this down. Uh, if you're a small business customer, uh, this is, in my books, absolutely mandatory. Uh, we've got a great guide to doing this on our YouTube channel. I may even um, drop in the link here in a moment. Um, but uh, the basic way to set up uh, group-based permissions inside your org is just via the admin panel. Uh, inside directory and then groups. Uh, and you'll see here, we've got a number of security groups that are set up. You can start with some really basic groups, you know, sectioning off some assets just available to executives, some assets just to management, and then others for all team or for everyone. Another group we like to create is a group called contractors. Uh, where's contractors? There we go, there's contractors. So anyone who's outside your business, rather than sharing resources individually, we just put people into a contractors group um, and then we don't have to remember where we've shared individual files with a particular contractor. We just add them to the group and when their contract um, or their agreement is terminated, they're no longer doing uh, business with us. We remove them from the contractors group and they're removed from any resources that they would have had there. Um, and what you end up happening there is you have, um, you know, obviously shared drives um, is the smartest way to share uh, information within Google Drive because you have the ability to lock down certain operations within the folders. Uh, but you'll see here that our folders here, for the most part, are just shared with groups alone. Uh, they're not shared with individual people for the most part. Um, when we share them with groups, it means that if you're not in the security group, you don't get access, full stop. Uh, it's just very, very simple and basic way of doing permissions, which means that not only is it scalable, but it's very safe. Um, and you then want to build a culture inside your business of team members not sharing files individually. They must put files into a shared folder and you just make that the rule. Uh, and uh, I wish we could lock down individual file sharing by a, via a policy. I wish we could do that. Unfortunately, there's, there's uh, no easy policy to do that that I've found. Um, but what we can do is we can, as much as possible, create culture within the business, uh, within our teams of sharing via shared drives. You put the file, you create a file, you put it in the shared drive uh, that's appropriate for your team or for your area of the business. And then you can share the URL, that's fine, because the right people will have access to it. Another good habit, Pete, is to think about where this file needs to live before you create it. So what I usually do is I actually navigate to the shared drive folder and then create the file in there, because yeah, often we're all guilty of creating a new Google Doc or uh, sheet, and then it ends up splitting in your live drive. And then you, know, you don't have any of these sharing or security permissions applied. So Navigate to the folder first, then create the, the file, then you have to worry about it. So it's nice and safe in that, that location. You can also see while you're in that folder, if there's already an existing file, make sure you're not doubling up on, on the work as well. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you, Adrian. 